this is your Kalpana here. So in this video, we are going to discuss a problem from exponential series. So let's get started. Find the sum of the series 1 square by 2 factorial plus 2 square by 3 factorial plus 3 square by 4 factorial plus 4 square by 5 factorial plus so on. So we have to find the sum of the series. Right? So consider the first term. Let's name it as T1, second term as T2, third term as T3, and fourth term as T4. Okay. In term 1, we are having 1 squared by 2 factorial. 1 squared by 2 factorial. So you would write it as 1 squared by 1 plus 1 factorial. And the second term we are having 2 squared by 3 factorial. You could write it as 2 squared by 2 plus 1, which is 3 factorial. And in third term, you are having 3 squared by 4 factorial. So, you could write it as 3 squared by 3 plus 1 factorial. Likewise, for the fourth term, you could write it as 4 squared by 4 plus 1, which is 5 factorial. Right? Likewise, what could be the nth term? n square. We can write it as n square by n plus 1 factorial, right? If you substitute n equals to 1, you'll get 1 squared by 1 plus 1. First term. If you substitute n equals to 2, you'll get 2 square by 2 plus 1 factorial. The second term. If n equals to 3, you'll get 3 square by 3 plus 1. Third term. And if n equals to 4, you'll get 4 square by 4 plus 1. Fourth term, right? So you could write it as, you could write the whole sum as summation n square by n plus 1 whole square. Isn't it? So you're having 1 square the sum of the series 1 square by 2 factorial plus 2 square by 3 factorial plus 3 square by 4 factorial plus 4 square by 5 factorial plus so on equals to summation n square by n plus 1 factorial. So this is applicable for n equals to 1 to some infinity. Okay. Since for n equals to 1 you will get 1 squared by 1 plus 1 which is our first term. So that purpose we are considering from n equals to 1 to infinity not from 0. Okay. Fine. Now we are having n square in the numerator and n plus 1 in the denominator. So, we have to rewrite n square in terms of n plus 1. Here we are dividing n square by n minus 1. So, n minus 1 into n will be n into n minus 1 is n square minus n. So, now change the signs and cancel n square. We will get plus n n minus 1 into 1 equals to n minus 1. So write n minus 1 and change the signs. We will get plus 1. So n minus 1 into n plus n minus 1 into 1 plus the remainder of 1 equals to okay you'll get n square minus n plus n minus 1 plus 1 so you can cancel plus 1 minus 1 plus n n minus n finally you'll get n square. and also you having n plus 1 factorial the denominator so n plus 1 factorial can be written as 1 into 2 into so on into n into n plus 1, right? Again, 
you can consider 1 into 2 into so on into n as n factorial into n plus 1. That means n plus 1 factorial can be written as n plus 1 into n factorial. Okay. So, you can write it as n plus 1 into n factorial. And this n square could be rewritten in n into or in terms of n plus 1 we can say. Okay. See. n into n plus 1 equals to n square plus n. Right. So you have to cancel this n. For that purpose, what we are going to do is, we need minus n, right? To cancel this plus n, we need minus n. Since we have to rewrite this n square in terms of n plus 1, so I could add minus n plus 1 to this, which is equal to minus into n, minus n, minus into plus, minus 1. So if plus and minus n gets cancelled, Minus 1 remains the same. So, you need to add plus 1. So, finally, n into n plus 1 minus of n plus 1 plus 1 equals to n square plus n minus n minus 1 plus 1 plus 1 minus 1 gets cancelled. Minus n plus n gets cancelled. Finally, you get n square. So, n square can be rewritten as n into n plus 1 minus of n plus 1 plus 1. So, why we have considered n plus 1 here? Since we are having n plus 1 factorial in the denominator and you could write it as n plus 1 into n factorial so that n plus 1 and this n plus 1 gets cancelled finally. Okay, let's see. So, this equals to summation n equals to 1 to infinity. Now, replace n square by n into n plus 1 minus n plus 1 plus 1. Okay. By n plus 1 factorial. So, this is equals to summation n equals to 1 to infinity n into n plus 1 minus n plus 1 plus 1 by n plus 1 factorial. See, I am writing the same step here. See, in the numerator, you are having three terms. So, you can split the whole fraction into three fractions. This becomes summation n equals to 1 to infinity n into n plus 1 by n plus 1 factorial minus n plus 1 by n plus 1 factorial plus 1 by n plus 1 factorial. Okay, so if you notice the first two term in the first two steps, you are having n plus 1 in the numerator and n plus 1 factorial in the denominator. See here also you are having n plus 1 in the numerator and n plus 1 factorial in the denominator. If you take n plus 1 factorial equals to n plus 1 into n factorial, n plus 1 gets cancelled. Okay. So, this is equals to summation n equals to 1 to infinity n into n plus 1 by n plus 1 factorial can be written as n plus 1 into n factorial. We can use this formula. Okay. Since n plus 1 factorial equals to n plus 1 into n factorial minus n plus 1 by n plus 1 into n factorial plus 
1 by n plus 1 factor. No need to, to, no need to change the third term since we are having only 1 in the numerator. There is no n plus 1. If you are having any n plus 1 term, then you can change the denominator. Okay. So, here you can cancel n plus 1. So, we have summation n equals to 1 to infinity n by n factorial minus 1 by n factorial plus 1 by n plus 1 factorial. So, in the first step, you are having n by n factorial. In order to cancel n from the numerator, you need to change the denominator. See? We have written or we have used the formula n plus 1 equals to n plus 1 into n factorial. Likewise, we are having a formula for n factorial. You could write it as n into n minus 1 factorial. See, you are having n factorial equals to 1 into 2 into so on into n minus 1 into n, right? But we know that n minus 1 factorial equals to 1 into 2 into so on into n minus 1. Okay. So you can change. You can change 1 into 2 into so on into n minus 1 to n minus 1 factorial. So you will get n factorial. So that you will get n factorial equals to n minus 1 factorial into n. Okay. So from this you will get n factorial equals to n into n minus 1 factorial. So, here we are going to use the formula n factorial equals to n into n minus 1 factorial. So, this becomes summation equals to 1 to infinity n by n into n minus 1 factorial minus 1 by n factorial plus 1 by n plus 1 factorial. Only we are making changes in the denominator of the first term and the next two terms remains the same. Okay, this is equals to summation n equals to, okay, you can cancel n, right? So, we'll get Summation n equals to 1 to infinity or 1 by n minus 1 factorial minus 1 by n factorial plus 1 by n plus 1 factorial. So, this is equals to summation n equals to 1 to infinity 1 by n minus 1 factorial minus summation n equals to 1 to infinity 1 by n factorial plus summation n equals to 1 to infinity 1 by n plus 1 factorial. Now, substitute n equals to 1 to infinity for n equals to 1 to infinity we will get 1 by 1 minus 1 factorial plus 1 by 2 minus 1 factorial plus 1 by 3 minus factorial, 3 minus 1 factorial, sorry, plus so on, minus o. Now coming to the second term, we will get 1 by 1 factorial. Since we are having n factorial in the denominator, we are going to substitute n equals to 1 to infinity plus 1 by 2 factorial plus 1 by 3 factorial plus so on. Plus the third term, you are having n plus 1 factorial. So, you will get 1 plus 1 factorial plus 1 by 2 plus 1 factorial plus 1 by 3 plus 1 factorial plus so on. Okay.
So this is equals to 1 by 1 minus 1 is 0. 0 factorial plus 1 by 2 minus 1, 1 factorial plus 1 by 3 minus 1 is 2 factorial plus so on minus or 1 by 1 factorial plus 1 by 2 factorial plus 1 by 3 factorial plus so on plus in the third term 1 by 2 1 plus 1 2 factorial plus 1 by 2 plus 1 3 factorial plus 1 by 3 plus 1 4 factorial plus so on. Okay. Since we know that e power x equals to 1 plus x by 1 factorial plus x square by 2 factorial plus x cube by 3 factorial plus so on. If x equals to 1, we'll get e equals to 1 plus 1 by 1 factorial plus 1 square is 1, 1 by 2 factorial plus 1 cube is 1 by 3 factorial plus so on, right? See here you're having 1 by 0 factorial. You could write it as 1 or else you can change 1 by 0 factorial, okay? Simply change 1 by 0 factorial equals to 1 since 0 factorial equals to 1, okay? So, 1 plus 1 by 1 factorial plus 1 by 2 factorial plus so on can be replaced with e. So, this whole term can be replaced by e. And coming to the second one, here it starts with 1 by 1 factorial. 1 by 1 factorial plus 1 by 2 factorial plus 1 by 3 factorial and so on. So now take this one to left hand side. You will get e minus 1 equals to 1 by 1 factorial plus 1 by 2 factorial plus 1 by 3 factorial and so on. So this whole term can be replaced by e minus 1. Okay. And coming to the third step or third uh, term, it starts from 1 by 2 factorial, 1 by 2 factorial plus 1 by 3 factorial plus 1 by 4 factorial and so on. So now you have to take or you can write it as e equals to 1 plus 1 by 1 factorial since 1 factorial equals to 1, 1 by 1 is again 1 plus 1 by 2 factorial plus 1 by 3 factorial plus so on. So, equals to 2 plus 1 by 2 factorial plus 1 by 3 factorial plus so on. Now, take this 2 to left hand side. You will get e minus 2 equals to 1 by 2 factorial plus 1 by 3 factorial plus 1 by 4 factorial plus so on. Which means that you can replace it with e minus 2. See, you are having e minus 2 equals to 1 by 2 factorial plus 1 by 3 factorial plus 1 by 4 factorial and so on, right? So, this is equals to e minus of e minus 1 plus of e minus 2. So, this equals to e minus into e is minus e minus into minus plus 1 plus e minus 2. Plus e minus e gets cancelled. This equals to e minus 2 plus 1 is minus 1. Okay. So therefore, the sum of the series one square by two factorial plus two square by three factorial plus 3 square by 4 factorial plus so on equals to e minus 1. So this completes the problem. So we have seen a problem from exponential series. Hope you will understand. We will see you in the next video. Until then, bye bye.